Mr. Harris here and welcome to a new video on a new unit of Unit 10. In this video, we're going to talk about senses and sense organs. So some of you might have already learned it in primary school or Form 1. But first off, we'll do a quick recap on it and then we'll learn something new. Alright, so living things, they can detect and respond to changes in the environment. And this is very important for their survival. So what do I mean? Let's have a look at some examples. For example, the ability of finding food, the hawks, they can see small animals and they can catch them, they prey on them. No, when I mean by prey, I shouldn't say prey, I should write it down. Prey as in P-R-E-Y, not P-R-A-Y, okay? Hawks, when they prey on small animals, they will catch them and eat them. So this is their ability to find food. Some living things, they will they can also find mates. Mates as in not really friends, but partners or a couple for example male polar bears they can smell the scent of the other female polar bears and this will give them the ability to find mates another example is how rabbits they can escape from danger they hear the sounds made by their enemies and they can run away very quickly now i want you to focus on one thing look at the trend over here so rabbits, they're able to hear sounds. Male polar bears, they're able to smell the scent left behind by female polar bears. Hawks, they can see small animals and catch them. Do you notice the trend over here? Seeing, smelling, hearing. Does this give you any recall of what you've learned before? So in Form 1, if you recall, you learned about the environment, environmental changes that cause living things to respond. And we would usually call it as reacting to stimuli. If you've forgotten, it's all right. We'll recap right now. So reacting to stimuli. So what is stimulus or stimuli? So some examples could be sound that you hear. It could be the light that you see. Or it could be the chemicals in the air that you smell so all of these are called stimuli or stimulus these are detected by specialized sensory cells in different sense organs say for example for sound let me use a different color let me use purple over here for sound what sense organs do we use to hear of course we use our ear to hear well that rhymes ear to hear and the specialized sensory cells would be the specialized ear cells. All right, the specialized cells that are in the ear. So for light, we use our eyes to see. So that is a sense organ. And we have specialized cells in the eye to help us detect it. So sensory cells, there are many types, as I've told you. It could be the sensory cells in the eye, in the nose, in the ear. So there are many types and each of them will detect a particular stimulus. So for example, in the eye, it will detect light. The nose, what will it detect? The chemicals in the ear for smell. And the ear, it will detect any sound. So these are all different types of stimulus. Also, the sensory cells, they will send messages along your nerve to your brain and this will cause you to have produce a sense. So let's see the whole flow chart over here. So first off, there will be a stimulus detected by the specialized sensory cells in the sense organs. This will be sent to your brain and eventually the sense is produced. Now we've talked a lot about sense, but do we know what sense organs are there? So over here we have five sense organs, skin, eye, ear, nose, and tongue. So do you guys remember, or you've probably learned it in primary school, but what does the eye, what sense does this give you? The eye, of course, you're able to see for this. So this is for the sight. Hug for ear. This is for hearing, of course. Then you have the nose. This is for smelling. So for smell. The tongue, it is for tasting. The taste. And finally, you have the skin. This can be for touching, feeling, 
pressure, so on and so forth. These are the main sense organs over here. Okay. So now let's do activity 10.10. .10. Let's match the sense organs with the stimuli and the senses that are produced in these situations. So first off, you have the eye. The stimulus is light and the sense produced is the sight, what you see. All right, please make sure you do not mix up the stimulus and the sense. They are a bit different from one another. All right, the ear, the stimulus that you sense is the sound and the sense produced is hearing. All right, the stimulus for the nose is are the chemicals in the air and the sense produced is the smell. For the tongue over here, the stimulus is the chemicals in the food and the sense produced is the taste. The skin, for example, they're touching the skin of a cat or any pet the stimulus is touch and the sense produced is also touch so a bit similar over here also for the skin it could be that there's a lot of pressure when you're wearing a tight shirt and the sense produced is also pressure so in some cases as you can see right now the stimulus and the senses are the same however for example over here the stimulus is sound and hearing you can see that even though it's more or less the same, but don't worry, in the exam or your test or your quiz, if, if, I, if I'm able to understand what you're trying to say, then it is all right. I won't deduct, I won't deduct your marks. All right, let's go back. Over here, there is a paper cut. The stimulus is pain and the sense produces also pain. The stimulus over here is a very hot day outside. The stimulus is temperature. However, the sense that you produce is either this hot or cold. So to wrap up, living things, they can detect and respond to changes in the environment. This ability helps them to find food, find mates, and escape from danger. Okay. Humans, they have specialized in different sense organs to detect stimuli. Specialized, yes, specialized sensory cells. Okay, now let's do the checkpoint question to wrap up this part. Tom is watching TV and enjoying a cup of hot chocolate. I guess that's what most of us are doing nowadays. Identify the sense organs for detecting different stimuli and the senses produced. Okay, this should be fairly simple. All right, the stimulus are on the left, and let us find the sense organs and the sense. So first off, question A, the light from the TV. So what sense organ are you using to, to produce the stimulus or to detect the stimulus? This should be the eye, of course, and the sense produced is the sight. Very good. Question B, the sound from TV. Okay, this should be the sense organ is the ear. And the sense is, of course, hearing. Question C, sweetness of the hot chocolate. So you're, of course, tasting it. So this would be the tongue. The sense organ is the tongue. And the sense is the taste. All right, next up, the smell of the hot chocolate. So the smell would be from your nose, the sense organ, and the sense would be the smell. Finally, question E, the softness of the cushion. This would be your skin because you are sensing or you're touching it. So this would be touch, okay? The sense organs and their associated senses. So I've already matched the colors. Eye for the eye is the sight, ear is hearing, tongue is the taste, nose is the smell, and skin is touch. Of course, I think you have this summary table over here. So this table is very good. It gives you the sense organ, the stimulus being detected, and finally the sense produced. All right, so make sure you revise this, these two tables 
for the five sense organs and you'll be good to go for this all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now